Japan's South African Language Board has officially declared February as uh, the month of language activism. The world's learning company Pearson is supporting the drive by encouraging learning in our own mother tongue from a young age. A non-profit organization, Botale Literature Academy, has introduced their first literature awards to give recognition and empower self-published authors. Ibrahim Matthews, managing director of Pearson South Africa, believes that when a child is learning something for the first time, Time. It is uh, their home language. He joins us from our Cape Town studio to elaborate more on this, as well as Sia Bongan Lozi, who is a motivational speaker, researcher, and author, to share more on the Botale Literature Awards. A very good morning to both of you, gentlemen. I know, Ibrahim, you are coming to us live from Cape Town. Good morning. Thank you very much for having me. I'll start with you. In most cases, language can be a barrier and can hinder the learning success of the best students. Uh, will the introduction of learning in your own mother tongue work in each favor? Yes, absolutely. So the, the research um, provides irrefutable evidence that um, proficiency in your mother tongue aids in the learning process, not just of additional languages, because many of the concepts that we learn um, in our mother tongue are concepts that are transferable when we learn additional languages. But equally, just um, it aids in the learning process more generally. So there are a number of studies that have uh, proven that when children are proficient in their mother tongue, um, they tend to do bet better at school in a number of subjects like mathematics, like science. Um, so learning in one's mother tongue is extremely critical uh, for the success of our education system and for the success of learners in general. Hmm. Sebang, so, let me come to you. The Butale Literature Awards, I mean, they aim to empower other self-published authors like yourself. Um, are you specific in terms of the language um, that you prefer your authors to write in? Good morning. Thanks, thanks for having me. No, uh, it, as the uh, Butla Literature Academy, we are not specific to the language, but we like to encourage uh, uh, African writers, like the indigenous languages people, to, to write because most of the books, and I've written all of my books in English, but we're trying to encourage them to, to write in, in, their, in their languages so that they will be able to spread the knowledge. But we are not selective or in terms of the language. Okay, why is it so important for us to emphasize um, the importance and the need for people to uh, learn in, in, in their mother tongue or read in their mother tongue? Previously, it seems as if people were just okay with uh, people using English, for example, as the medium of instruction, and that would just be fine. So what's the significance of, um, you know, just this pressing need uh, uh, or this emphasis on African languages? I think uh, it's easy to express myself in my mother tongue because it's a language that I grew up uh, speaking. And it's, it, and, and like, but there is a stigma that is, that, that, that is attached to English, that if you speak English, if you can articulate yourself in English, it's much better than someone articulating himself in his, in his or her mother tongue. Mm -hmm. So it is important and it helps because it is, we, it's easy to understand most of the time because when we are using our own languages. Mm -hmm. So that's why it is important. We have to encourage young people to start reading and learning in their, in their, their mother tongue. All right. Ibrahim, over the years, the most common language, as I've just said, uh, the most common language used to communicate has been English. Uh, I think also specifically uh, 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 using South Africa as a reference. And most kids are comfortable, seem to be comfortable in speaking the English language. And it isn't necessarily their home language. What are your thoughts on that? Should this change? Do you think that uh, currently most people... Uh, use English you know, as a better uh, way of expressing themselves? Look, I, I don't think it necessarily has to change. I think the way we approach it has to change. So we live in a global world, um, and English tends to be the language that we most commonly use to express ourselves. But having said that, I think we cannot, as I said earlier, underestimate the importance of a mother tongue, um, particularly in early uh, childhood and early um, years of education. So extremely important that um, we promote mother tongue literature, that we promote reading, writing, speaking in one's mother tongue. Um, if you think about a child going to school for the very first time, the learning process has started long before they enter their schooling. Um, learning starts at home and that learning tends to be in their mother tongue. And then you arrive at a school and the environment is foreign to you. Uh, there's a new teacher who happens to be a stranger at that particular point in time. 
And then you throw in the added complication of teaching in English, a language that they're not familiar with. That creates um, additional complexity that I think we can, uh, we can get rid of. So I think it's important that we promote mother tongue education, particularly at primary school, and then over time introduce additional languages. As I said earlier, when you're proficient in mother tongue, it's far easier to learn additional languages. All right. Uh, and Maskew Miller uh, Longman Literature Awards has called on experienced, new or aspiring uh, young writers to submit their unpublished and original stories in their mother tongue. Uh, please won't you share more on that for us, uh, Ibrahim? Yeah, so the, the philosophy behind the awards is exactly that. We're aiming to promote uh, cultural diversity when it comes to literature. We want to uh, develop uh, good quality literature in all 11 official languages. The competition is unique in that it provides equal weighting to all of the um, South African official languages. Um, so that's, that's the, the first point. The second, again, as I said earlier, is to promote um, this learning and reading in one's mother tongue. And equally importantly is to provide a platform for writers, aspiring new uh, and old uh, writers to um, write and develop liter literature in all of our languages. Um, and then ultimately to give them a platform to get exposure, to get their works published. So those are probably the three key components of the Maskew Miller Longman Awards. All right. Uh, let me come back to you, Siabonga, just in terms of the Botali Awards. This is going to be the uh, first edition of the awards. What, yeah. what is it that you are hoping to contribute in the literature space? Okay. First of all, um, we, we targeted the self-published authors because if, we, if we're looking around, like most of the guys who, who self-publish their books, they, they don't have enough exposure, they don't have enough uh, distribution, and they, like their books, they ended up putting their books uh, at the, in the garage because there's no one who will sell their books in the bookshops. So what we want to achieve uh, as, as an organization, first, we want to give them an exposure. Second, we want to empower them. And, and, and the third, we want to connect them with other self-published others because most of, mo the, the, most of them, they're facing a challenge of like nobody knows about, about them because they don't have a big muscle to market and promote themselves. So that's why we, we decided the awards we're going to do them on the 1st of September. But we're going to start in February. We're going to meet and then from February until August, there's a calendar that I'm going to introduce to them from every month. There are things that they will do because we are not only uh, awarding the books, but we want to be, because we have come to understand that people, they don't buy books but they buy authors. So we want to develop a character of a self-published author so that they can become a, a, an established name in an industry. Mm, fantastic. And wish you all the best at the awards. Thanks Thank a lot. Thank you very much. Uh, that, that's uh, Pearson South Africa and uh, uh, Botale Literature Academy both invite experienced new and aspiring writers to submit their unpublished and original stories in their mother tongue with the aim of uh, promoting the art of reading and writing amongst uh, South Africa's youth. Time for us to take a quick break. We'll be back.